nataka tu, tuangalie neno kuhusu what do you need now you see vijana habari yenu one of the problem or maybe challenge tumekuwa na, na youth ni kukosa kujibu swali of now what do you need now what do you need to achieve now where do you you know the other day tulikuwa na maswali four questions ya strategic thinking ambao nauliza where am i now where am i supposed to be do you know why we say that let me tell the truth hello praise god bwana asifiwe sana kama kuna swali mimi nilinistua na ikanisaidia ni second one why where are you supposed to be unakuta uko rental house wakati unatakiwa kuwa umejeka kwako unakuta dugu unaenda unaenda na matatu when you should be driving i let me tell the truth hii youth watu wako hapa i expect at least magari 200 hapa you can have youth 400 500 na nyote makuja na matatu there's something wrong haya muzicheke is a serious thing hello praise god bwana iduliwe let me tell you let me prove it in our time did you when was our time mimi nikiwa na miaka 22 i was a pastor of two churches nikiwa mke wangu maybe utacheki leta ni mwali ni utamuuliza some of you are her friends nikimuoa nikiwa na age ya 26 give that to george mogo na uh, ya 26 years nimeyobea tayari 26 years nilikuwa na makanisa saba now i praise god at the age of 26 na si makanisa ya kupewa churches that i had opened strong churches now we uko na miaka thate na ungali unaopa fair uko na miaka 35 na ungali unakaa kwa baba yako hebu toka ukweli hello what do you give worship a meaning is the right living right and relevant living bwana yesu asante sana haleluya 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 kuna mirango lazima tubishe kuna sehemu we must seek uh, uh, i'll talk about that later what i said ask there are three things i used to worship could i ask seek knock there are things you should get through asking there are things you should get through seeking and there are things you should get through knocking ah yeah 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 si wadike hivyo ndio baadaye uwe ukaulize Mungu ameniambia hivyo kwa nini haleluya nataka uniambie bishop can you please come and pray for this this thing i knocked the door and i got this nilimtafuta bwana na nikamuona hivi haleluya who do you think wapendwa you worship and you are okay alafu unarudi kwa nyumba landlord au lad lady anakutusi vile anataka na ukiona ameokoka na hana akili na ukiona anaokea yeshi na hata jikoga i tell you do you know kwani anakutusi ndio uulize maswali mawili where am i number two where am i supposed to be na msio hope i have come to discover the lord who gojea mtoto wake agudue haki yake bwana yesu ni sana haleluya 
Hakuna mtu hapa hawezi kuwa na gari. You just need to think about it. Na hiyo kitu ikuingie na uendelee tutakuta unajua one day nilikuwa Westrans nilikuwa natamani sana V8 na hiyo si V8 sijaipata mzuri ile niko naye ni lakini nataka kingine so nikaenda pale karibu na Westgate nikaona V8 mzuri bwana nikaizunguka nikaizunguka nikaizo hello mzee nataka kujua bei au kununua nataka kununua na sasa hiyo account kuna shilingi 20000 but in my heart and my mind nilijua hiyo gari nataka it's not an issue of money it never starts with the money faith is a substance of things hoped for evidence of things not seen hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 hallelujah hallelujah Nikaanza kusema maswali nikaweza mtu wewe na niko na wewe niko na Prado Rad Cruiser Prado Muzee KBG kana nikitrade in nitaokaza pesa ngapi juu ukitrade in hiyo yako hiyo utachukua na 2 million you need to add at least 7 million ndio pata hiyo gari hii gari sawa enye nikaka nikarudi nyumbani Hello praise God until one day nikasema hii jambo lazima itimie nikaambia driver tuingie ndege twende wapi Mombasa nataka nini V8 I, I, I thank God for faith hii imani ya Mungu ni ajabu sana na nilikuwa na one 1 million tukiwa kwa ndege mimi hata hukefikia niko kwa ndege sababu akili ilikuwa inaweza kai mwadhani dadhi kwa kila gari na 1 million na ni gari ya 7 million au 8 million And I remember nilipoenda kuna ndugu mmoja ambaye yako na pesa nilimlea Mungu amemuinua akafikiri niko na pesa tukapata moja asubuhi nikaza Mungu naomba tu hii gari ikataliwe so I don't know how many nataka kuambia watu zina pesa kisipaka ni mbaya tuka by midday nilipata kitu kama 1500 juu By saa tisa nikapata breakthrough ya 1.4 million nikiwa kule kwa maana ishara zinafuata mtu nikagundua niko na 3.2 million around there nikasema sasa atafute ikapatikana nikaambia weka deposit ya 3.6 million sema sina chukua hii million 3 nikaambia mhubiri tutakupatia lakini kesho by saa saba huo umeweka 600,000 au tutaizima Nikaambia driver wewe kurumisha gari tuende Nairobi Eh the rain ni kwa na kaviyeda kama mgejua And then I don't know what happened sijui ni hapa au ni wapi au ni town au I can't remember the road Nilikutana na watu wakambia bishop tunakutafuta Why Mungu ametoa mtu tukubariki Eh sawa what do you mean by you need to know what they mean by that walikuwa na shilingi 700000 nikasema basi deteni dino hata pent nikatoa fugu la 10 and nikatuma ile 600000 inangojoa kule mwenye kuniuzia akasema you are good customers customer not knowing i'm walking by faith nikaambia zitoshe utakuwa natulipa 1300 kila mwezi for the next 10 months or whatever nikasema bora tu mwisho wa mwezi ujafika have space to believe nikangangana mwezi wa kwanza nikalipa nikangangana mwezi wa pili ah nikazoea za imani kajiunda hello Like somebody came to my office a bishop na ile gari ulinunua let me i want us to see the sale agreement gampa kube na nataka kubarikiwa nikakuta naye ameweka 1300 ameweka tena kama brother unatakaje bishop niliambua huwezi chukua baraka yote na uko na mafuta ninaweka kuna wadudu nao walianza kuweka ninaweka mtu mwingine anaweka kukaka nikaambia bishop chukua logo book ah nikasema asante yesu It's not the issue of money. 
is the issue of faith as a substance of things hopeful. Na leo nataka wada substance no yadike. Kitu dani yako atakama ni nyumba. Nataka kwe, nataka kuona nyi youth. Yeah, munona muko tu 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 vijana tu vijana tu dogo dogo hivi tayne thing tayne girls tu 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 me tu me baba kama ani ni mana ani na kinao. Let me tell you, Hallelujah. Some of the cabinet secretaries, ukiwaona, they are very tiny. Lakini kana kari ya kari kubwa. Hello. Kama dani yako hakuna kitu kikubwa, imani inaongea hivi, inasema nyumba, nyumba, gari, PhD, kweda ngambo, mm -hmm. dio, hivi, ujue, worship yako haija kwa complete. Faith, you know, when Bible, in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, faith is a substance of things. Things. Are you understanding? Things. Faith is known by achieving things. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Nasema kwanzia leo, don't say kwamba huwezi pata gali. Let me tell you, apathali uwe at the age, iku goje ufike meka itini. Uchukwe. Aya, bwana asifiwe sana. One thing about youth in Raitaji Sasha, I am I'm not to tell you what God I niagosa ni wambia. You need to put on motion the seasons of life. You need to put on motion the seasons of life. Badrea kuka stagnating staying in one place na leo ni tawao bear. Hallelujah. To work on motion. Nagaria to work on motion the seasons of life majira ya maisha yaanze sasa kutimia i rebuke that stagnation i rebuke the darkness i rebuke powers of hell from today be activated ha unajua mimi ni mimi ni baba yenu acha waititu mimi ni baba yenu and one thing that help us help in this idea is to see a youth your seasons are put on motion majira yako imeanza kuenenda do you know something praise god it's very easy to be a great preacher and a rich person and established person is you just need to, you just need god not god to ingia dani yake is one is it one thing to you know bible says you know to watch a human put uh put your seasons on motion na kuna majira munga mekwekea iko watakiwa within two years utimiza a season another two years fulfill a season another two years another season Another two years, another season. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu wapendwa, we, stagnation haizuili haizu miaka kwenda bere. Ni we ume stagnate, lakini utazeka tu. Ukiketi hapa chini, useme huta enda ende where. Haita zui ya isa yende bere, na haita zui ya jua litoke na liende, haita zui ya uzeke, haita zui ya usikie ja. And therefore, by the command of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Kira muschana ria hapa, na mvrana ria hapa, mungu afanyishe, afanye, you are seasons, he has a kutimia, right now, right now, by God's grace, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Can you start, I want to make that prayer now, before I preach further. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. I say, Jesus, I worship you. You are glorious king. You are awesome. You are eternal. You are the God of our seasons. Nakapashata raba sakaropo shotari mazanda. Rekopo sotaraba bozaya. One thing, hear this. I want to rebuke a demon that is fighting you. Either in a kupiga kutoka ju, kutoka bere, au kutoka dani. And some of you, you are fighting a very strange demon. 
ambao haikupigi direct lakini inakupiga na inference do you know these these days demons are using inference can I, can I prove it hello praise god you know leo nimekifika kwa nyumba and has have guests from us and your bishop please usia de kesha you look tired ah uh, kabia is true because last night i slept only for 2 hours and the other night i slept 3 hours the other night 2 and a half hours pakina kabia now i can kabia mo kere me go one of the thing ambao watu hawajui demons siku hizi zinakuacha tu wewe speak in tongues wewe hubiri lakini zinatumia inference unakuta zinatumia emotions unaamuka unasikia umechoka usikia hata kusoma Unaangalia mahesabu hivi chemistry biology unaangalia kitabu na mwagia mali <laughs> Husiki kama una demon but there's a difference you can detect a bad negative inference kutokusoma is not from god Amen kwa muko sikio mechoka ni kama utaki kuamuka is not from god and please don't call it a feeling don't call it a feeling it jina mzuri is an inference of the devil you are supposed to wake up mapema what come is on jana ndara saa saba saa tisa niko nimeamka kwa sababu i am a man on season i am a man on season i am moving i cannot allow stagnation hallelujah I can sacrifice and sacrifice ni choke na ni choke just to make sure kuna kitu kimepata breakthrough. Watu hawataki kuchoka. What that's one of the things they use. People don't want to get tired. Number two, watu wengi hallelujah praise God. Hawataki kusukuma mambo. Anytime we leave, sometimes we are abnormal. Not abnormal in the sense kwamba umeharibika akili but you go build yourself. Mungu akikuambia leo hiyo pesa uko nayo yote towa sacrifice. People don't want to go build there. Most majority of mighty men alianza na kwa na Mungu uza hiyo gari yako, uza hiyo nyumba yako and that was a kazi yangu and God just blessed them. You the way you attack that voice. Hello, praise God. If today nakuuliza unaingia kanisa saa ngapi? Kama kanisa inaanza saa 12, youth watakuwa kwa wamefika by 5. Retest. No, chukua motorbike. Au ingia gari yako mtapata gari. Amen. Why don't you challenge us? Mtu is parking. Hapa bahati ni na security code nimeandika security code kuna askari sita wa kulinda magari leta yako nitaongezea askari mwingine alinda yako We can even employ hundred of them just to take care of your car uabudu tushughulikie gari ah gai Hallelujah Hallelujah I want to hear some messages kwamba every month Ninawekrea mwana yudhi mikono anaenda France anaenda Britain anaenda Japan to do business and to father I want to hear those things I don't want to see you umeketi hapa leo kesho umeketi hapo the same shoe the same face the same nose the same attitude and the same way we don't need to angalia last year unaangalia tu hivyo Ah, hello. Nataka kuona ukiingia sadi moja the way you are walking ni wewe ni mtu ambaye unajua where you are going. Si ile ya kule katika ya kibaki. You know I want to be at Britain to be in Kakatu I think one two months at about eight crusades. And, and and when I came back one thing I noticed ukienda mahali kama kule people are very fast. 
Hivi. Ngia moto hawa hana akasalimia kabla hai hai. Madoka they are very fast. And then kurudi nikaona kama kwetu kuna shida kidogo. Nika wetu watu wanakaa tabata paka hivi. Wengine wako kaa wamekaa chini pale wanoga. You can't see that mahali kama kule. Adukute watu wamekaa shopping center waki mungedhu. Hakuri kutu wama hiyo. All people are busy. Moving. Hello. Mi nataka kuona mkitepea kama more kiyush. Because you are responsible, you are busy people, and you are accountable, you are doing things for the kingdom, and by the grace of God, now, I want to speak to the devil. Ni muambie, every influence ame akonaye juu ya akiri yako yondoke sasa. Your might should perform. I say your might should perform. You are mighty woman. You are so gifted. It's only that kuna kitu kinakulalia amba ukielewi. Ukieda kufikiri yonasikia, you are not producing anything. I rebuke that demon. I command your might to be set free now. In Jesus name. From today, I release the blood of Jesus on your mind, on your brain, on your mind, on your soul. I break chains of darkness, yokes of oppression. You know, I'm to you. Na chini ya dami ya Yesu juu ya nafsi yako. Funguli wa sasa. Funguli wa sasa. Funguli wa sasa. Takasika sasa. From today, the talent ambayo kwa kiri yako inuke. I said, Nataka kwanzia leo leo hii hii wiki. Nataka kusikia every youth here. The talent in you is now vibrating. The talent in you, in you is now productive. I say, Makata Raba. Wewe about ikuwa unaenda kazi, unashidu how to do. You are going to take over businesses. I say, you are taking over. Oh, Makata Raba. Shereba. My kota pasaka Raba Bozaya. Jesus, we worship you. Hakuna mtu hapa hana kazi. Hakuna mtu hapa hana talent. Hakuna mtu hapa hatakiwa hana pesa. It's only that you are at the influence very strange about who you are living. Hello? Bwana asifiwe. Demons are signed to torture you. But they are not in you. They just stay around you to, to make sure that you don't go beyond a certain pressure. Have you ever seen Skiza? Umeenda soko fulani ukahama. Ukahamia soko ingine. And the same attack follows you everywhere. May God bless us tonight. Keti sasa, keti sasa, keti sasa. Amen. Kitabu cha 2 Chronicles chapter 12 verse 32. The Bible says 2 Chronicles chapter 12 verse 32. Mm -hmm. Does your Bible have Second Chronicles? Thank you. See Levi in my potter. Which one am I reading from? Ah, yeah. Trusting that. Uh -huh. Now, we want to read the scripture, and the Lord, you help, you bless us tonight by His grace. Uh -huh. it's, I think it's First Chronicles. The Lord bless you. Uh -huh. Now, it is First Chronicles twelve of that two. Bible Nasema of the children of Issachar who had understanding of times. Say after me, understanding of times. 
Sema kwa sauti kubwa understanding of times. To know say it again to know what Israel ought to do. Ni hapa mwe huwa amesoma first chronicles. So msalimie. First chronicles. First chronicles. Tunasoma kitabu cha first chronicles. Toa Bible. Mmoja ya bandia tunasoma, sitaki aachwe. Haya, naona haya, ni vizuri kuangalia mandaiba. Ninaiba yangu hapa nimeangalia mzuri. Haya. You see now, Bible talks about uh, I kabila la Isaka. Na inaongea kuhusu they had understanding one of the times to know at every section, every season what Israel ought to do. Bible is talking about ought to do. The ultimate thing in life is what you do. Naomba Mungu akupe this kind of anointing ilikuwa na Isaka whereby they had understanding of times. Na every month and every year they were able to guide Israel on what they ought to do. Na Mungu asikie umbi langu sasa kwa ikesha. Kwamba Mungu atende jambo hili. Kwamba hakuna mtu katikati yetu ambao at any time utakosa understanding of times and also knowing what you ought to do in Jesus name. Amen. Jabra pili about you need to have initiate program of talents and gifts. Anzisha mpangilio wa taranta. Anytime a young person or an old person whoever it, it, it depends on how on how you perceive yourself. Anytime mtu anaishi duniani kuna kitu ambacho takitakiwa kuanzishwa program ya taranta furani uh, uh, wakati wote mtu anaingia kwa taranta yake au gift yake there are several things you experience one you rejoice a lot your gift make you happy your gift renews your strength your gift is your office. Your gift is the area where God expects you to be. Hallelujah. Now, in your gift, that's where God blesses you. Now, one of the things about me, Shida, ni mutu kutabua taranta yake na karama yake. Na katika taranta na gifting, that's where Jehovah hukugojea sana, sana. Miaka aboni mehudumu zaidi ya 40. One thing I've just I've rejoiced at ni wakati ambapo brother fulani anagudua taranta yake na jia ya kuishi. I tell you they just become millionaires. Hallelujah. Bwana sio sana. Unapata huu dugu tumekuwa naye ni ho, amekuwa hoka. Anauza vitabaa kwa street. Akangangana akatokea kwa taranta yake. I, they move very fast. Kwa ndugu mwingine huwa nagojea every year nifungue nyumba yake mpya. Commercial. Hata hawezi kosa nyumba ya gorofa kama 5 au 6 every year. Every year. Every year. Kuna kijana mwingine the other day tulianza program. <laughs> uh, na huwa natarajia every year niombe basi yake mpya. Tulianza na yeye prepare kwa bishop I discover natakiwa kuwa na mali yangu. What happened? Alijipata kwa manager wa bank. <laughs> Kile kishagaza ni vile alisikuwa manager wa bank in a certain bank in, bank, bank in Kenya kabia manager please munipatie bus moja. Kama sita manager kulipa muje mchukue. 
Baba yake akaitwa. It's a young man. Akasema mimi siko papanya na huyu huyu ni wangu kuzaa lakini mama ya Abbas ni yake. Manager kafikilia wakamsposa akawa na moja siga 12 million. Nikaitwa nika annoyed. Waacha ibebe watu bwana. Kukaa kaa ikalipa kila kitu. I was called. Akanua ingira mbia nikaiobea. Tuliendelea hivyo mpaka kijana akawa na basa saba. Sa bishop the way I'm moving this is my talent. Sasa kabla nataka pata dada mzuri. Dada mzuri. Hello. Bwana ainuliwe. Are you understanding? Ukiingia kwa Atlanta kuna mwingine sasa you know you, you just multiply 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 it's very easy to quote the bio sana in your gift. Ni kama leo ni kama Peter. Peter alipohubiri siku ya Pentecost Watu elfu tatu waliokoka. Kuombea kiwete tu masaya jioni. Watu elfu mbili wakaokoka. Peter, when Peter operated in his gift, within two, three days, kanisa likuwa na washirika 5,120. Ah, hallelujah. The other day, I was talking to the pastor. I was pastors. I was talking to pastors, eh? Sidiyo? But I said now, kire kire ni subwa kuhusu pastors ni kwaba ni gift gani iko ada that name which gift? Come on, into a pastor because I'm a pastor. Am I prophet? I'm a pastor. Am I an apostle? I'm a pastor. Am I am I a healer? You know there should be gift chini ya yonini kire kitaleta growth na satisfaction na na renewal is the gift under that name. Amen. Initiate a program of talent. God bless you so much. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Amen. No one's a bio. Bio yake. Now, can I ask a question? Look at somebody like Elisha. Elisha, the only thing alipokea kwa Elijah ni wakati manto aliguzo na hilo manto. Hmm. Akagushiwa. Na hakuachiwa. It was his initiative. Kufuata Elijah mpaka apata double portion. I don't think kama Elijah ageka hapo. Elijah agerudi. Youth. Know you are rich. Na ujue nijia kani mungu amefugua. Ikimbia zaidi. I say ukimbia sa. Sana. I'm so concerned about how you live. How you live. Blakin usiku leo tutaombea. Sebeni amen. Hallelujah. Number three. What do you need at this time? Gain a position of authority. Hapa si ongei mamba ya siyasa. Na ongea mamba ya spiritual realm. Katika urimuengu wa roho. For instance. Do you know nikishika imaika? Uh, au niongoze sifa hatufa nani let me prove to you katika spiritual life kama nimeomba mpaka nikawa na authority ya mafuta nikikuhubiria nitakuhubiria na that level kama sija oba nikabadiliziwa position i'm still ada mimi ni mtumwa mimi ni ngari na ngangana nitakuhubiria injili ya kuangana and that's why jesus is concerned so much about the position of authority in the spiritual ministry spiritual realm and that's why unaona in the time jesus alituma wanafunzi wake he talked about authority for instance, if you go to Matthew 10, Matthew 10, 10, just, let's, Matthew chapter 10, let's just go there. Matthew chapter 10. Bible says something here. In Asema, Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. And when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power. 
over. Can you say power over? You need power over. I say you need a position ambayo inaitwa power over. Hallelujah. If you don't have power over, it will affect your business. It will affect even your marriage in case you get married. It will affect utaona tu ni very easy ndo yako kuharibika. It's very easy. It's very easy kazi yako kuangushwa. You need power over. Hallelujah. He called the 12 disciples and he gave them power over and clean spirits to cast them out to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. Jesus cannot just send you empty. He gives you power over. I pray God give you power over. A hey, power over. In business, power over. In marriage, power over. When you get children, power over. When you lead your family, power over. That's the position that you should have. Let me tell the truth. Hello, praise God. Kufungu. I need anointing, your anointing. And I need to discover the secret of tithing. Tithe in the Bible, it has three levels. Kuna tithe as faith, tithe as law, and tithe as a revelation. Kujua fugu wa kumi kama sharia haikusaidi sana edo bia shika hivyo lakini kujua fugu wa kumi kama revelation kama watu hawajui mark chapter 3 verse 8 to 12 is a revelation because it says leteni fungu la kumi kamili kiwemo cha kula katika gararangu muone kana kwamba sita wa bariki mukose pahali pa kuweka baraka na nitamlaani yule alaye kwa ajili yenu no hear this now, the brother said, now, Bishop, I give tithe. Lakini sifanani na hizo ahadi. Natakiwa nuwe na baraka, nikose pahari pa kweka. That is the truth. Natakiwa kazi ni mutu wakini inukia hawezi. Because God will rebuke the devourer for my sake. Kwa nini kazi yako, kila wakati na inukiwa. You people should be real when it comes to promises. Kwa nini kipala jogoro ni ulihamishwa? Ni wewe nyumbani kila wakati hata sunguro kiweka naiba naiba. Sungura. Kwa ni hii ahadi ya kwamba the Lord will rebuke the devourer. Jehovah tamlani yule alaya kwa ajili yangu. Where is the promise? You need to get tithe as a revelation. And God says, Mr. Bibo yako haita agamia utavuna. And the brother of the bishop, Sitoki Ofisi, Mpaka, I discover this promise. And I remember, Tulifugua tukagalia, Siri ya hiyo scripture, Iko pari pa meandikuwa, Leteni fugu na kumi kamili. Iyo jina kamili, Oh, unless you discover it, You don't give tithe. Kuna watu utoa tithe ya mushahara. Iyo ni tithe, Like you, you are not giving tithe. You are not giving all tithe. You can give tithe of your salary, but not that not all tithe. Bible talks about leteni fungula kumi, fungula kumi, fungula kumi, fungula kumi. Oh, bash. Geukia mazako mambi yewe lete fungula kumi kamiri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you know. <laughs> To the young Mpaka, the brother discovered. I can hear a bishop. Nitangangana. Hakuna hata dururu ya tithe itakosa. Kuna vya lijipanka. Akabewa basha nyingi. And I tell you friends. One thing. I nipigi ya simba. I can hear a bishop know something. Kazi ni mwangu. Nimeaza kuona the revelation of tithing. One. Anapanuka in all direction.
na maadui hawezi kuminukia. Jabu lingine kazini watu hawezi iba. Kuna kitu kimetokea. Nakambia bishop, leo nimepata income, profit ya 4 million. Adiza kupata 3 million. Just a, a ordinary brother. You need to push. I said you need to push these promises until they become real. They must become real now. Amen. Before you grow older. Amen. God cannot lie. We are the sisi ndio tuna uongo but God cannot lie. Akisema atanibariki nikose pai pa kuweka. It is true. Kama sibarikiwi nikose pai pa kuweka. I am wrong. God is right. We need to surrender to God. Na msijifanye. Staki wipe wipo hapa alafu ukienda pale unaomba fair. Kwa kitu kama hiyo. Ni wipe wimpo alafu bila sifa za tiririka. Mashiriki na mapesa ina maogika huko na upako na furaha. Ah, hallelujah. I want to hear tell me bishop. Habari yako? Unaweza pitia kwetu Christmas mkiwa na familia yako because nyumba yako ka kitchen bwana kazuri. Sasa hii huwezi nialika kwa sababu tunafika kwako kwa, kwa pale tuko barabara bishop na kaka ngabo yule. Ah, wewe. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Nyinyi wanaume niambia watu leo kwa ibada mwanaume yoyote as you grow up you need to prepare for the four peace any man who is growing up prepare as a family person to be a priest of the family to be a prophet of that family to be a provider of that family and to be a protector of that family if you are not ready for that, for that achan hawa dada wagu ni watafutia wale wako tayari Muna tusubua sana siku hizi. And sometimes are, well, there's a problem we don't know. Ni kama msichana diako na dear priest. The only thing wadugu wanajua tu ni sex. Habari yenu. Unaniangalia vibaya na mnakaliti. Mambo mengine unajua shida ni kujifanya. Unaweka begu ndani ya dada, dada dada buga hurubia tu. Vitu naweka huko ya nabeba tu, nabeba kwa kama ibadio hiyo. Mwenye kuweka hata lisa hao. Hata ako, sijuya ako meru, wakikura jahe huko hata lisa hao. Ngambia, uko wapi? Nini uko? Tangu. Nipata, nipata bor. You know to you as a woman, that thing is ni kitu kikubwa. Ni uhai uko hapo. But to somebody, let me tell you this. In Jesus' name, hakuna kitu kizuri kama mutu kwa accumulate righteousness. Hello? Musituretema omengi huku. Sikia, tumekua dunia ni hii. Tumekua na wasichana, wainayote, walebo, walebo, wamapua malevu, mafupi. Tumigutu na kaa raudi hivi, kingengenge, tupengenge. Na hatu kufanya usherati. Because we wanted kusimamisha righteousness. Even at this stage. Do you know why mutu wakizeeka watu wegine usereka wakua very weak? It's because of how they behaved akua youth. Now, kwa hivyo na tunasema hivi by God's grace, you need to initiate a program. Gain a, no, gain a position of authority. Mark, Luke 10 verse 19, as I imagine, I give you power, do you know that? I give you power to trod over Sarpeth Goja. Iyo muna injua nyinyi hapa? Luke 10 19. Muna injua? Luke 10 19. Hii timu yagu hapa. Injua ni maneiba wagu. Okay, kwa 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 where? Penina. You are the only sister katikati hawa do. Utahama utakatu hapa. Muna mulida mzuri. Muna idwa mzuri. Luke 10, 19, eat him. Where? Toa Bible. Sazikina watu wa viobo unajua tu viobo, gita, hawana Bible. Motu utaya Bible. Haya, fukua yor. Ikona nani? Na muke wako? Eh. Yeah. Wajona, that side as a kuwa rapepa na Mcha kuna wadua as a kuwa na dada pa deida na hatu watuwa Na hana pete Sikuizi, sikuizi Sikuizi tunakalibia watu with courtesy 
kwa sababu tu sina tuingine tufupi tu na kameolewa sasa rashi unaota kasichana tu ni kana miaka ni, ni kayang ka tu akabia ni obeko nini obea my marriage ndio nimezoea mimi kusturiwa kadogo obea my marriage kadogo obea uliolewa lini eh uh, 4 years ago how old are you 20 years nika wewe nikaambia wewe sikiza hapa hata sheria inasema olewe at least minimum 18 years mm nyobe doa yako e ulikuwa umeoka yenyewe nikao nimeokoka lakini majaribu ni mengi mm ombea doa yako ukiwaangalia hata shida hiyo doa ni akili amezaa watoto watatu lakini akili hakuna actually teenage practically inaisha mtu akiwa na 23 if at all you are normal tabia ya teenage kiakili wadada wa miaka 2018 na wadugu ni watoto wakubwa Bwana asiwe sana. Do you know kile kitakusumbua sana ni akili ya mtu? Unakuta umeoa mtu kuna wazugu wametoka General Motors wamekuja kuona magari yako wazugu kama kumi. Kasta akamwambia, "Kai, kore ya dugu." <laughs> Unakuta kwa hapa the problem is no sex na kuzaa is akili. Na mtaki wale watu wamekomaa wakubwa. Nyimbo nataka tuwe tudogo. Sawa, let it to. Dio saidia mama yake kulea kidogo. Kutakuwa bario wa dada, ukasaidia mama yake kulea yeye miaka 4. Na naye akasaidia mama yake kukulea. Mukafikidhana. <laughs> na watu wakisubuana sana in early stages za dola. Inataka shida kidogo baadaye. Bwana wasaidie praise God. Bwana inuliwe. Gain a position of authority. Na tutasema I give you power to throw over serpents and scorpions. Anytime God anataka kukutumia, he gives you power over. Matthew 10 verse 1, he gave them power over eh, evil spirit to cast them out. Ukienda okay, Luke 10:19 Baba Faith inasema I give you power to throw over serpents and, scorp- and scorpions and over all powers of the evil one and nothing will also ever hurt you Position over Position over is very important Oba mpaka usikie you are over Ma, uh, Roman 16 verse 20 and the rod of peace will crush satan under your feet shortly and the lord of peace will crush satan under your feet shortly can i tell you something that position will help you a lot what wengi hawaendi bali because you are not over you are not over powers of darkness You are not over scorpions and satanism. You are not over. Kufukua tu biashara, watu wanasema kama nitakuangamiza wewe. Nitaku sijui wanasema nitakuua. Watu wanakuinukia kazini. They notice that you have no security, you have no cover. Now by you God lays you over so that katika maisha yako you have a position of authority to live. Amen. Badala ya kuogopa anytime unainukiwa what raises in you is capacity to deal with issues not to withdraw Maisha ni mangumu if God does not give you power and capacity over issues May the Lord help us now 2 Corinthians 10:4 in a imagine Our weapons are not carnal 
but they are mighty in God. To do what? To pull down strongholds. Number two, to, to cast down any evil imagination and other things. And it's very important kujua kwamba wewe mwenyewe haukai chini ya strongholds you can pull them down whenever you go. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Ukitaka kujua uko na image of God. The image of God in us pull down stronghold. I say the image of God in us cannot allow you to live at the stronghold. Utasikia tu I need to bring devil down. Unainukiwa pahali kazini they are saying tutakubaliza. Unafunga shiku 14. Unasema watajua Mungu wangu anaishi. Unajitakasa. Unaambia Bwana kama Yehova uishivyo, I destroy the enemies of my soul and they notice you are over. You are not under them. May God give you a position. I say a position. A position. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I said God give you a position. In Jesus Christ's name. When God puts you over, you can live anywhere in this world and yet make profit. Umeanda Washington, ukakuta kwaba the anointing of taking over, you have it. You even become richer than Americans. Umeenda Britain, the anointing of taking over, you have it. Within a very short time, Umeenda South Africa, you are taking over. That's why Joseph, at a kama aliuzo ayo mutumwa, his anointing was taking over. Taking over. Power over anointing. That's why I say, nimeona nyota kuminamonja. Najua na muezi zikina inamia. That is taking over. Power over anointing. Ata auzwe wapi. That's how life you behave. I pray in just Christ's name that you will never be comfortable until and unless you are over. Amen. The Lord puts you over. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. Pigia u Yesu makofi na wanjabu sana. Another thing we need. Set a standard that is very clear before God. Dio mugu dio mugu atebe na wewe na asiwe na problem na wewe. Wewe mwenyewe wewe mwenyewe. Jiweke kiwango ambacho hata Jehova kikuangalia you are clear. Kuna mambo kadhaa ambao any young man should clear with God habit. Nisalimieni May the Lord help you. May the Lord bless you. I said, may God help you to have habits. Kuna tabia mungu ukiwa nazo. And you clear them. God can work with you. Can work with you. Mungu wanajua kukiwa na kesha. You never miss. Because that's a habit that you have cleared before God. Mungu wanajua ibada wezi chelewa. Why is a habit you have cleared with God? Mungu wanajua. Mungu akupatia 10 million anajua ex, anajua Sunday he expect a million because it's a habit you never fail to give tithe Hallelujah unda mambo tabia fulani about the clear with God Ukipiga transfer upeleka Kisumu nyangunga oyugish God ana shida he knows your habits you never change or destroy yourself Kusikikika umeingia ndego naenda Russia kwa Putin. Na usipiga Ukraine. Hallelujah. God knows. Even there he expect you to be somebody. Because tabia zako zimeumbika vizuri. I say set a standard that is clear before God. Clear your habits. I say clear your habits. Clear yourself. Clear yourself. Let the devil know you cannot masturbate. I can't. Let it be known 
hata ukiachwa nyumbani na mwasichana hapo neighbor huwezi kuuza yeye na pia you girls let register habits that are powerful in jesus name na Mungu atakuaminia mama yangu sana hata pesa he knows your habits kama mjui Mungu atabariki hivi hivi number 2 covenant covenant ni maisha ambao unaingia katika kile Mungu anataka Mungu anataka hivi nimekubaliana na yeye mujue covenant si kama ya hii harusi where by you and the partner you are equal ya Mungu ni Mungu hukupa masharti unaitikia mnaungana na yeye ikifika covenant ya Mungu God has upper side he is the one who offers blessing promises ukitikia you agree with God and you walk with God Amen Bwana wabariki Haleluya Do you know why God used Daniel? It's because Daniel was very clear from beginning. Alisema katika Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, sitajitia unajisi na hicho kura. And God knew this man is clear. Na diposa akaanza kutumwa na Mungu. Jambo lingine ni kwamba tafuta Mungu. Kuna kuomba Mungu na kuna kutafuta Mungu. Go beyond just praying. Seek for God himself. And I, I don't know kama naelewa hiyo. You see, utaona katika katika Jeremiah 33, Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33. I hope Bible yako iko na Jeremiah. Jehova mwadhani kumokea pereria. Hii mnaiba, nimesikia moya. Leo nimekuwa huko. Ate ate doe. Aya. Jeremiah chapter 3. The Bible says something verse 3. Inasema, "Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know." Can you hear that? Nemoiwa. Mweteo. Call unto me. There is a way. There is a way you seek for God until God shows you things that you have never known. That will change you. Jamani kama utaka kwa ile mambo unajua peke yake. You never improve, you never get new revelations. You never get new insights, you never get new 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 inspiration. Unakaa tu God God is God of change. Akwambia niite. Nitaitika na nitakuonyesha wewe mambo magumu usiyoyajua. We need to be shown things that we have never known. God has them. Amen. And that's why the same same Jeremiah Okeda chapter 29, Jeremiah chapter 29 If you go there chapter 29 verse 12 Inasema hivi verse 12 Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and I will reason to you verse 13 and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart nini utapata hapo sio mahitaji god talks about you will seek me and find me say after me you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart Is one thing kwamba Mungu tu ajibu hobi wako uko na homa unataka sijui pesa ya kukura is another thing sasa si mahitaji na mtaka yeye I say you need God Nanyi mtakniita na mtanipata nitawatokea if you search for me with all your heart in Jesus name to 
God be the glory. And na hii kitu za jamtu sana. That's why Paul alipokuwa kiwawa alisema I know him whom I have believed in and I'm persuaded that he is able. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Kitu kingine unahitaji in God is breakthrough with supernatural experience of God. Mungu Mungu anatambia ya ajabu agetaka uijue. God has in him supernatural power that you need to touch. You need to know. You need to encounter. Hakuna kitu kizuri kama mtu kuokoka na ufike level whereby you know the power of God. Power. Sio tu Mungu naabudu. Kuna mahali anafika anaponya. Sio tu Mungu natumikia tu hivi hivi. Kuna mahali anafika anatenda miujiza. Sio tu kutumikia Mungu hivi hivi. I have a testimony of power. I have testimony of power. Can you hear this? I have testimony of his power. I ask you now in your churches in your ministry do you have testimony of power of God? Gifting of God. Hallelujah. Kama kuna wakati ambapo utakutia moyo is when God is at work katika level ya power. Hallelujah. Jesus. You know, one day Mungu alinistua. Na hiyo kitu sijawahi sahau. Na mahali nilikuwa kukabadilika paka nikaogopa. Nikiwa crossed the dry 44 zamani mimi nikaambia watu wainue mkono wa kulia. Nikaona ndugu moja alikuwa na jacket kama coat kama hii ana madharau. Hainui. Nikatoa fujo, inua haraka. Kwa sababu yeye ndio ni mkono wa kulia hivi inua. Eh. Wewe mkono wa kulia hivi. Radi wewe sio inue, hapana chakelea, inua hivi. Sasa niambia watu inua mkono wakuli. Sasa agali kaka chini. Sasa udugu huwa hana mkono. Lakini akoti yake inafika paka hapa. Na nikamwona nikaona hii madharau gani hii? Kwa hana hata ma. Inua haraka. Akasahau hana mkono. I don't know what happened in his soul. Mimi niliona mkono ukitoka unatokea. Ukatoka hivi ukachomoka. Akainua. Now what happened? Badra ya watu kuja bere maina waita walienda kuangalia mkono mpya. <laughs> Na kile kishangaza hawako anacheka when all people gathered there there was mighty power wengine walikuwa naanguka chini wengine wana watu waliokoka watu waliponywa is good i announce this is good not just just to worship and feel good but encounter have a taste of god's power kwamba nimeonja nikajua mungu nguvu zake ziko namna gani nimewahi nimewahi kuziona kazini nimewahi i've seen things happen hallelujah you know one time nikubiri hapa i saw a vision unajua kanisa kisaingine mejaa mimi niliona mguu uko na kidoda kikubwa nikamunga mka niambia nene huo mguu nikasema ninaona mguu ndio mtu anga kila ameona ninaona mguu kuna mtu hapo nyuma ana kidoda amefunika kimekaa zaidi ya miaka mitatu na kimepona alikuwa msichana unajua sasa amevaa kaguo kamefunika huko sababu hiyo kidoda inamsumbua sana kwa ibada alipoenda kutoa nguo immediately after service alishuhudia hiyo kidode imeisha gozi imerudi kama mtoto anapigia mama yake simu kanisani akiscream encounter with power encounter with power encounter with power i say kuna mahali youth unajua na mimi Mungu aliona siku moja tu anipe neema nikajua nguvu zake vile zinatenda kazi Mungu aliona one time anitebelea bedroom yangu akaniambia Jehova mimi Mungu nakupenda it's good to have such encounters youth 
One day I'll give you testimony zangu za encounter. Niziadike. Nikiwa kijana. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you. Ooh. Kama moja nikiwa kijana. Nikiwa na, na we. Sisi tu. Sisi. Nyinyi di umakawa. Sisi tu geopa. Una, unalara kwa floor the whole day. Unasema ni tatoka hapa asubuhi. Unaomba maombi ingine mpaka fuwe na jama chozi mpaka asubuhi. No use. Umeambua kuwana mungu. Mbona kama nikasikia na, na hitu hapa nyuma. Kabua mtumishi amka. Sasa nikashidwa. Unajua humuoni. Lakini nasikia naongea. Nilipo kuita mulikuwa na nani. Nikasema Jehova mungu. Mulikuwa na kanisa hapana. Mulikuwa na muke wako hapana. Akaniambia from today unitazame utakula na utavaa na utaishi akaondoka ah encounter with power hallelujah hata Musa we tuogeni ukweli hata nyinyi umeabudu unachazea sio mbizi si kumoja Mungu mama ngo go go inile dukijali ya nini hata Musa niuliza bwana vile sasa tumeongea si kubali tunione uso it's good Na haku nyimwa hiyo nafasi, although mungu ni mjua vya hata mfanyia. Hii nyi nyi mbekea kalisani miaka yote, vona uja uza mungu kuhuse hata, hata, hata mungu. Asfanye kitu tu ujue God, sini kuone kwa jia fulani. It, it's very important, muana youth, kuwa na experience. Amen. Breakthrough with supernatural network. Breakthrough with supernatural network. Ni kitu utokea through gift. Nasikia brother. Mina jua kitu kumoja. Can I mention something? Is if I start praying for you, na nitulie tu nikuombe, sita kada ikatano, bila hata kujua, kama unawazazi na wako vipi, na kujua kama umeni mgojo. I don't, you don't have to tell me. Unakuta, there's a way gifts, they start working. Network in Azakazi. Network with God. Mungu alie tukuka, si sama sama mwena network na ye. Sata ataka biguni na we dunia na mwonani. Youth, connect with God. Youth, connect with God. Connect with God. Connect with God. Naomba mukienda worship, mukienda kuoba, zama mpaka ifika pahali ya bapo, gifts are working now. Gifts are working now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Jabuli you need to, to do, start a walk. A walk. Kuna matebezi unaenza anza na mungu. You can start a prayer life walk. Katika my life, I have a prayer walk with God. Unaenza anza kitu kenaitua discovering of favor. Uanze safari ya kukudua favor na mungu. Uamwe, iya handi mungu amenipa hapa, ni taiti. Mpaka I discover favor with God. Jabu ringina ni kwamba. Uh, you need to form discipline. Katika ujana. Kama utavuka na ufanikiwe sana. Kuna nidhamu katha. Mutu uweka. Amen. Na hiyo tutaona siku ingine. You also need to settle. Kuma katha. Lakini hiyo tutaona in a different day. Because. Naona saa hairuhusu na leo ni siku yenu ya worship. Let's start for prayer. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Simama haraka. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I say Jesus Christ is Lord. I declare Christ is Lord. Ukohapa. For three, four years. 
umekuwa chini ya utumwa either the devil want to destroy you na ugonjwa fulani yaweza kuwa ni allergy yaweza kuwa ni heart problem yaweza kuwa ni bleeding yaweza kuwa ni breathing problem satan agataka kukuharibu mapema kwa msichana mvurana na kuna ugonjwa unangangana naye i want to destroy that sickness by the word of god weza kuwa una shida ya gozi weza kuwa kukiwa na baridi wewe unafugana kila wakati weza kuwa umeanza kuwa na ulemavu wa miguu usioelewa weza kuwa wewe ni mtu ambaye mara nyingi mara nyingi hata kila usiku huna amani there is an attack ya ugonjwa at your tender age about unagudua this one kama Mungu atanisaidia this age nasikia ni kubaya i want to destroy that disease that impediment nitayagamiza kwa damu yesu right now you should be free i say you should be free wewe ni msichana umeanza kuwa na growth kwa your breast kitu ambacho kinakusumbua akili i cast the programs of satan i now mashata araba zika araba bosaya wewe ambaye ni mgonjwa ina mkono juu aweza kuwa ni allergy yaweza kuwa ni i don't know what aweza kuwa ni ulemavu umeanza satan alikuwa ataka kukuua kukuagamiza kuwa young i want to stop him now i thought satan should stop attacking you i say you live long life ah uh, you live long life hiyo hiyo magonjwa ya ukoo ya kansa ya the right is unakuta mama yako alikufa na heart problem is affecting you Yeah, 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 just leave it my brother to touch us at you touch us at you yes i would like to, to pray with you you know mkono wako tu juu jesus nataka wewe ambao nataka iombe just come here just come here kuja hapa be haraka kuja hapa kuja hapa kuja hapa kibia kibia na usiogope there's power in the blood of jesus christ shakata bazakata pakashata posota rima kata ukifika hapa inua mikono tu upokee uponyaji wako receive your healing i said receive your healing i said receive your healing i command that demon to get out of you Deba kata paka sata bako soto rima zinda nima powers of darkness get out powers of hell get out powers of death get out in the name of Jesus Satan get out get out devil get out devil get out devil Shakata baze kerere babo say yes inom kwa tuju be healed be healed be healed fio kama chako takasika kobolewa chains of darkness get out of these people now the pasete ne mamosaya opa kabisa receive your healing i said receive your healing 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 i said be healed be healed kwa nyuma ina mikono yako to just worship the lord 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 God Almighty. Worship the Lord. Oba kabisa, oba kabisa. Just continue praying. The Lord bless blessing you. Hallelujah. 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 You are getting healed. You are getting healed. Baba nakushukuru kwa maana hao wameponywa. Hao wameponywa. Hao wameponywa. Dada yangu umeponywa. Umeponywa. You are healed. I say you are healed. You are healed already. Umeponywa. Shukuru Mungu. Jehovah amekuponya. Utapose tari mama. Miaka yako yote ambayo Mungu amekuwekea ipokee. God heals you. The Lord heals you. The Lord heals you. The Lord heals you. Hallelujah hallelujah be healed I said be healed by the mashakata rabo shekerereba pokea uponyaji pokea uponyaji sasa be healed from today be healed powers of death get out of these people hautawaua watu hautawaua shetani hautawaua watu hutakufa wewe utaishi dada yangu utaishi I say utaishi utaishi wewe weomba shakata rabo shekerereba mozanda Yes, how do this go now? I rebuke Satan out of your spirit. Yes, 